With Regulation G upon us and us being able to use a restricted Pokemon on every team that we build, I think it's important that we talk about what Pokemon we should be pairing with our single restricted Pokemon. So I've got a list here of all of the most prevalent, I feel, restricted Pokemon that you're going to see pop up a fair bit in regulation g and we're going to talk about those pokemon and what pairs so nicely with them in the format so i want to start with groudon groudon is just going to be incredibly solid being that drought setter that will boost flutter mains and other opposing paradox pokemon from the past it's not having the same issue that coridon has where it's boosting its biggest threat right flutter main does four times super effective damage into coridon that's really unfortunate with the drought ability or the orchid whatever it's called i can't pronounce the ability that coridon has you know what i'm talking about though so that causes a lot of issues so i think groudon is the superior drought setter in my opinion we'll see how the format shakes up but i think that this pokemon is going to just be incredibly solid especially in next to things like gouging fire i think gouging fire is just going to be a staple next to this thing because you could boost the gouging fire and run like assault vest or you can run um clear amulet on this thing and avoid incineroar and start stacking gouging fire making it a much more powerful threat than it normally is normally it's just a setup pokemon in regulation f but with the ability to ignore the incineroar altogether and just start stacking those howl boosts that's really beneficial and it's nice paired next to the groudon because you could boost the groudon's damage for things like precipice blades rock slide things of that nature so these two pokemon are going to be incredibly nice together but i think groudon has a lot of options as far as teammates go that are going to be just super popular with this thing because it can do the more uh offensive route do things like gouging fire chen pao things of that nature uh you know get the rillaboom in there um things like this that are going to be pretty standard but also it could go for the route of the special attacking options um we haven't seen a ton of it yet but it's still very early in the team building process of regulation g i think venusaur could see a pop-up uh in this particular meta i think venusaur is going to be pretty decent in that regard uh sleep powder chlorophyll venusaur is just really good uh same goes for things like walking wake i definitely think we can see walking wake see a lot more play in this particular format because groudon is just a much better sun setter than the torkoal that we had access to previously so that gives you a lot of options in running walking wake and i think walking wake while still won't be the best of the paradox pokemon uh i think it has a lot more play in regulation g uh, obviously you got the raging bolt and things like that that are going to pop up on teams like this because you're boosting the raging bolt while still being able to run like av and maybe do like the snarl electro web set a little more effectively because you have that damage buff while also having the bulk of the assault vest so that's definitely a powerful option as far as pokemon go and obviously flutter main on this is going to be incredibly solid uh as a uh, partner for groudon so there's a lot of stuff that groudon i feel can do that a lot of the other restricted pokemon can't just because of what it empowers in the format so i definitely think that groudon has a lot of options whether you go the physical route with gouging fire or you go the more special attacking route uh and do like a venusaur kind of setup team i think there's a lot of options with this pokemon now kyogre i think is not as good as it once was i think kyogre really suffers uh in this format because sun is going to be incredibly popular so there's constantly going to be that weather war that we've been seeing a ton of but with raging bolt as well as miraidon as options into kyogre kyogre really really suffers in that regard but i still think kyogre is a decent pokemon uh i talked about it in my tier list video i still think it's pretty decent whether you're running like choice scarf on this thing or choice specs uh water spout still really solid you do have to watch out for all of those uh rillabooms that are going to come at you with the grassy glides and things of that nature so you, that is definitely something you have to be a afraid of i think for that reason things like for rigoraf um and serena can actually be pretty good as teammates for this because you can block the uh priority attacks that are going to cause such problems for you like thunderclap and grassy glide they're going to cause a lot of issues and weaken that water spout so having the option to avoid those priority attacks with either armor tail or queenly majesty is very very solid uh, but as far as like the best teammates for this go obviously tornadus got a huge buff in scarlet and violet in the form of getting access to its signature move from legends arceus that being bleak wind storm having 100 accurate bleak wind storm on turn one and being able to click that rather than immediately go for a tailwind is really really powerful for tornadoes especially into those rillabooms you could swap out kyogre this turn hit rillaboom with a bleak wind storm and put the opponent on the back foot i think that's really solid uh, I think Lando Eye is still really solid uh, with the addition of Mayridon and still the dominance of Raging Bolt. I think having that good earth uh, or ground type attacker is going to be really powerful. And access to 100% accurate Sandseer Storms is really big for Landorus. So I think that Landorus Eye with Kyogre is really good as well. 
as far as other teammates go raging bolt makes a lot of sense here you can swap it into electric type attacks or grass type attacks that are coming into kyogre just a nice coverage option with this particular team and then i think you're going to see like a lot of rillaboom or serena like i said earlier uh that's going to be your grass coverage on this particular team and then maybe something like fluttermane popping up on this team as well um but definitely a solid option as far as kyogre goes there's a lot of new tools as in the form of the new genie signature moves that work so well in the rain that it's just very very solid option uh for kyogre teammates calyrex ice rider is absolutely crazy i think this pokemon is so freaking good i absolutely have been loving playing with this one uh because of clear amulet and i made a video talking about this the other day clear amulet makes a lot of pokemon incredibly good now it mitigates that incineroar threat and that is a perfect example shown on calyrex ice rider being able to avoid the intimidates and start knocking stuff out and stacking those chilling nay boosts is massive for this particular pokemon it is just non-stop damage with this thing uh incineroar has to waste a turn using knockoff to get that clear amulet off if they want to go for more intimidates or parting shots or whatever the case may be so really really powerful pokemon and i think as far as teammates go for this pokemon i think that there are a handful of really good options i think indeedee is really solid uh indeedee is pretty good mainly for the reason that indeedee can stop the priority uh with psychic surge and be able to uh you know redirect attacks helping hand boost uh that's all really solid for calyrex uh and i think for that reason ferrigaraf is another good option so i definitely think that this is really solid mainly for the psychic surge it plays nice into rillaboom plays nice into um Miraidon being able to change that terrain is going to be so important in regulation g uh so i definitely think that this is a really really good combination ferrigaraf like i said i think is another solid option it stops the priority in a calyrex gives you a lot of playability and maneuverability under the trick room so as a trick room option next to this i think this is pretty solid i don't think it's as good as other options i think uh porygon 2 obviously is a really solid pokemon next to this porygon 2 being able to set that trick room uh while also having access to eviolite is going to be very very good uh we got the trick room here eviolite and then i think that what makes porygon so good uh in this restricted format specifically is access to foul play being able to hit the opposing mirror calyrex ice rider for massive damage is super super big shadow rider calyrex is another one of those pokemon that i think is going to just be absolutely disgusting in the next format it is going to be so crazy in regulation g uh, whether it be with clear amulet because i think the biggest counter to calyrex shadow rider is going to be those uh snarl abusers that are going to be so prevalent i think incineroar will maybe pick up use in snarl we're going to see some other pokemon pick up use in snarl and that's going to be incredibly problematic for calyrex if it's not running clear amulet so i think clear amulet is an, a, a super solid item for this particular pokemon astral barrage being such a powerful attack is really good uh access to expanding force is insane so obviously the best partner for this particular pokemon is going to be in ddf this is just going to make the most sense you can set the psychic surge you can start spamming expanding force you can follow me away attacks you can go for helping hand you could just do so much with these two pokemon alone this is going to be incredibly common it's just all the time you're going to be seeing these particular uh pokemon together but i think other pokemon that are really solid with shadow rider specifically uh chi Yu makes a lot of sense it plays nicely to opposing shadow riders uh, so having that option to bring chi Yu in in like snarl opposing shadow riders while you're able to do damage with this is really really nice and boost the damage that this is going to do because of the beads of ruin ability really solid combination of pokemon in these two i think this is going to be really solid it's going to be a lot of hyper offense that you're going to see probably see like tornadus on this kind of similar to what you were seeing with like glamora hyper offense uh but instead of like flutter main you add calyrex shadow now miraidon is another pokemon that really shakes up the meta mainly because of hydron engine on switch and you set the electric terrain and while the electric terrain is active you're going to get that special attack boost of 1.3 times massive massive buff for this particular pokemon while electric terrain is on the field and it's a massive buff for a lot of those future paradox pokemon that maybe didn't see as much play uh specifically looking at things like iron valiant i don't think iron valiant is going to become great but having those options as far as team building goes for those paradox pokemon is really really cool but i think the best one is going to be the iron bundle iron bundle now being able to actually hold an item and not have to hold booster energy to get those really fast icy wins off is massive 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 in this current format and i think if you run like a choice specs item on this choice specs with hydron engine and you've got electro drift 
this just claps stuff. It absolutely destroys them. So you can allow Iron Bundle to slow stuff down, allow Miraidon to outspeed, and absolutely decimate them with Electro Drift. It's very, very powerful. It is an insane combination. I think this is going to be something that you see a lot. The issue with a lot of the other Pokemon that you would expect to see on a Miraidon team, like Iron Hands, you share that typing with Miraidon, and that's very difficult uh to deal with in the current format because lando i is so prevalent because of the popularity of raging bolt going into regulation f raging bolt is still going to be very good and you're still going to see those ground types pop up and sharing that electric typing is really brutal for these two particular pokemon so i i don't think even with the hydron engine and being able to set electric terrain that iron hands makes a significant comeback i do think it'll pop up here and there but i don't think it's going to be dramatic especially because the other prevalent ground type in the format that being groudon is going to be so popular so i have a hard time believing that stuff like iron hands is going to make a big comeback i could see maybe iron treads picking up just a little bit really good typing really good coverage into a lot of stuff in the format and having access to that protosynthesis boost allowing this to run another item like clear amulet or something could be pretty interesting i don't necessarily know uh how much this is going to get used as this is still very early in the regulation but i think that iron treads could see some play i think also iron jugulus could see some play because much like you'd use roaring moon with a booster energy to set tailwind now you can use the quirk drive boosted uh iron jugulus as your fast tailwind setter uh giving you a lot of play and also playing very nicely into the shadow rider calyrex setup with the access to snarl it could be a very popular pokemon and a really spicy meta pick uh going into regulation g so i definitely think these are the pokemon that you're going to see pop up with my on the most and then you're going to just see like you know round out those firewater grass cores with your iron bundle and do like rillaboom and incineroar um I don't think it's gonna be crazy team building around Miraidon. I think it's going to be pretty standard stuff with like a single future paradox Pokemon next to it and doing big damage. So I definitely think that Miraidon Iron Bundle is the best option. Coridon, I think we'll see play. I don't I hate saying Coridon's bad, but it is a Terra Sync because of um or Calcum Pulse. I don't know. This ability boosts the Flutter main matchup, and that basically forces you to have to run a have to run Terra Fire, and you have to Terra away from that weakness uh, into Flutter main, which really puts you on the back foot and having to guarantee this Pokemon's Terra. It is very very scary into that Flutter main matchup, and I think that's why it's so much worse than Groudon. But I still think it's gonna pop up. I think as far as teammates go, again you can run like Venusaur. Uh, I think Venusaur is really solid with this particular setup. Um, the other paradox pokemon raging bolt specifically uh and fluttermane i think are going to be the bread and butter of these particular teams the reason for that being is that gouging fire i feel like if you are you know running a gouging fire and you're forced to terra either you know fire or steel to get away you're you're putting yourself in kind of an awkward position with gouging fire on this team mainly because of the fact that if you terra fire you're both weak to rock you're both weak to ground if you terra steel to get away from flutter main you're both weak to um ground still it's just not a great combination as far as type advantages go i think it'll pop up but i don't think it's going to be that great so i don't think the gouging fire setup is as good as it is with groudon on this particular uh with this particular restricted pokemon but i think like the venusaur stuff could be really solid as well now walking wake um, I don't think is good with this particular setup, mainly because of the fact that, you know, again, you're sharing that dragon type weakness. It's just one of those things that is very difficult about Coridon because of its typing, pairing it with a lot of these Pokemon that benefit working with Groudon don't necessarily work with Coridon. Kyron White is very spicy and very fun. I think this Pokemon is really solid. I don't think it's like top tier, but I think it has a definite niche that it fills very well looking at like those articuno teams that were running around with uh alolan nine tails really really solid combo there that we saw win an event a uh, very popular team on the ladder in regulation f but if you take away articuno give this thing a life orb or even choice specs and give it blizzard it does the same thing it does the same thing so you can do the same setup uh with aurora veil and you can use covert cloak or you can use uh light clay that is going to be incredibly solid with this particular pokemon it is very powerful and the same could be said for kyrum black i just don't think that's going to see as much play um because of incineroar you have to give this basically a clear amulet for it to work effectively but i think kyrum white just fits this role a little bit better and you could throw things like earth power on it it does get access to freeze dry 
uh and it has its signature move uh fusion flare for coverage there's a lot of things that this pokemon can do and i think it's incredibly solid next to alola nine tails especially because you're also getting that defense buff on top of the double screens very very powerful pokemon moving into regulation g zacian is not as good as it once was i think this pokemon i said this in the video i made about zacian specifically i think zacian's better in double restricted formats uh not being able to drop the rusted sword to get the crown bonus and get intrepid sword to proc hurts because of the fact that intrepid sword now only works once per battle rather than every time this pokemon's rotated in like it did in sword and shield this really hurts zacian with the incineroar matchup a fair bit um but i think that zacian will still see some play because it's just incredibly powerful i think sword stance becomes so much more popular on this particular pokemon because you can fake out turn one go for swords dance and just kind of get this pokemon set up and then from there you can just kind of start doing big damage i think gouging fire is going to be incredibly solid next to this thing gouging fire uh with a rillaboom for that fake out pressure like i was talking about is really solid with this particular pokemon and then after you get a howl boost up or sword stance up bringing in shen pao is going to be really nice next to the zacian crown especially because zacian can cover for that flutter main weakness that Chen pao has uh and also deal big damage into incineroar if it's running like sacred sword a lot of options that zacian gives the team uh that i think is really really powerful so i think that zacian can still be good in single restricted i think it'll be better in double restricted but i think that gouging fire chen pao is going to be like the bread and butter of zacian and regulation g i think it's just going to be an incredibly powerful combination of pokemon and for that reason this is what you're going to see pop up the most terapagos is an interesting one i think terapagos is good but it is very easily handled i don't think it's as good as it could be mainly the terraform zero stuff like oh being able to shut down the weather is very easy to get around it's only when it terrestrializes so you pretty much just play around that and you're able to deal with the removal of the weather or terrain very easily um if this was like permanently as long as terapagos was on the field i think terapagos would be significantly better than it is but because of this i don't think it's that great uh but it still has a lot of cool tools at its disposal uh mainly when it's in baby terapagos form or uh terrestrial form it gets the terra shell ability which is really nice basically multi-scale reducing the damage that you're going to receive while you're at full health i think this is really solid because you can pair this with uh the meteor beam power herb meteor beam take that turn while you have the defensive buff from terra shell to get your meteor beam off and get your special attack up and then basically from there you start clicking terra star storm and doing massive damage i think this is a really solid combination i think tornadus is going to be really good with this mainly because this is kind of a mid speed tier it's incredibly bulky but a mid speed tier so being able to boost that is going to be very nice and make it faster so that way you can outspeed stuff and spam more terra star storms that's going to be really good and then i think even adding stuff next to it like i think clefairy is something that we'll probably see pop up next to this having access to that friend guard with follow me um and heal pulse is really really solid next to terapagos because you can heal it back up you can redirect attacks and friend guard is going to reduce the damage even farther really solid combo other you know follow me users is probably going to pop up like ogre pond i don't think it's going anywhere you can run like ogre pond and uh well, with this pokemon and redirect attacks allowing you to spam more terra star storm um so i think there's a handful of pokemon that can be pretty solid next to this i think tornadus and ogre pond are going to be very very popular you could even do a rain setup with these particular pokemon uh as a backup option on the team and i think that's going to be pretty solid so i still think terapagos will be good it'll show up here and there i don't think it's as good as we were expecting it to be though finally we have zamazenta and i think zamazenta is actually in a better place in this game than it was in sword and shield it feels a little awkward to use your zamazenta as like a a one restricted pokemon on a team but i think that with the iron defense uh body press stuff that you could do with this pokemon i think for those reasons it's it's really really strong uh you can throw like uh iron head on it it does also get access to wide guard i think wide guard is very important in this format um a lot of pokemon are going to cause problems with the wide uh with the spread attacks looking specifically at like Cal calyrex ice rider calyrex shadow rider a lot of pokemon precipice blades water spout there's so much spread damage that's going to be going off wide guard's really nice can also just run protect on this thing and i think just the natural bulk that this thing has allows it to really set up i think as far as what you're going to run with this this is just going to be on a good stuff steam like it's going to be with incineroar it's going to be with rillaboom fluttermane and that's kind of going to be your bread and butter is you just rotate these pokemon um 
mainly the fake out users here you can rotate in incineroar intimidate lower the damage that things are going to be doing to your zacian and then rotate again you know get rillaboom in fake out allow zacian to get not zacian excuse me zamazenta to get set up and then be able to just keep rotating and doing as much damage as possible with this pokemon after you get its defenses set up i think it's going to be incredibly powerful for that reason i think like zacian this is going to be better in a double restricted format like i said it feels a little weird taking the one restricted pokemon and using it for something like this when there are other iron defense body press options out there um so it feels a little awkward for that but i still think that this pokemon is going to see some play and be a problem to break through especially with terra being able to get away from those weaknesses is going to really put it in a powerful position so that pretty much covers the best combos that i can think of for these pokemon that are going to be the most popular in regulation g of all the restricteds i think these are going to be the most popular and these are the combos that i think you're going to see pop up the most especially in the early meta for regulation g let me know your thoughts in the comments below but if this is your first time on the channel make sure you're sub for more videos like this in the future check out the discord people over there sharing teams that may be featured here on the channel and until next time peace